think you can uh, beat Greg Rutherford? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've done it many times, you know. Um, now I have to do it when it counts, and he's a world champ, Olympic champ, all the titles, you know. So psh, if I'm going to take someone down, why not? Why not let it be Greg? Uh, but yeah, that's that's the mindset. I want to go out there. I'm a competitor, and we're friends now, and everything is a lot of laughs. But once I get on the field, I want to be the best man out, you know, and so that's what I'm going for. You won everything, but I, I heard uh, Christian Taylor wants to beat you tomorrow. <laughs> of course he does. Everybody wants to beat me at the moment. Um, no, I, I think it's a competition at the end of the day. Everybody wants to go out there and win, and everybody wants to do well. I'm now the, the reigning world champion as well, so um, from that point of view, there's a big target on my back, and, and everybody wants to beat me. But hey, that's that's track and field. When you're doing well, that that's what happens, and and I'm I'm, I'm pleased that that's where I'm at. It's nice to know that people want to beat me because it means I'm doing well. <laughs> What's the difference between you and the other guys? Um, well, I don't know. I, <laughs> Uh, I've been fortunate enough to win four titles so far. I think that's the that's the big thing. No, it's there's there's no difference. And, and on the day, it can be anybody who who comes out on top. We we got a, a good bunch of jumpers in the world at the moment. So we'll wait and see what happens tomorrow. Um, but I'm confident. I've trained well since the World Championships. I've got back onto European time very quickly. I feel great. So I'm looking forward to hopefully a very good meet tomorrow. We hope so. Thank you very much. I appreciate. It. Cheers.